The Voice Season 16 has arrived. The first round of auditions went down on February 26 with new coach John Legend, and one young singer's performance of a Gwen Stefani song had Blake Shelton mesmerized. The Voice Season 16 begins by introducing us to new coach John Legend. Chrissy Teigen packs him a backpack and lunch for his first day. How sweet! He's joining coaches Blake Shelton, Adam Levine, and Kelly Clarkson. The first singer to perform is Jeth Rigdon, 24, from Louisiana. He was raised by a single father on a farm. His dad has taught him everything he knows about music. While he's mainly a country artist, Jeth can sing pop, rock, blues, and soul. He begins singing Uncle Cracker's Drift Away, and Blake is the first to turn around. Kelly and John's son follow. Blake decides to block John in the first block of the night. Blake compares Jith to Garth Brooks and compliments his muscle arms. Jith chooses Blake. Next up is Mel in Yarmon, 25, from New York City. She's deaf in one ear. After some personal struggles, Madeline thought about giving up on a singing career for good. But when the voice came into her life, she just couldn't turn it down. She performs a gorgeous rendition of Sting's Fields of Gold. Adam and Blake turn at the same time, followed by Kelly and John. They all give her a standing ovation. Blake tells Mel in that it moved me to hear her sing. John calls her magic, and Kelly thinks she's unstoppable. Mel in goes with John. Karen Galera, 19, from Dallas perform entirely in Spanish. Her brother, who is currently in Russia with the Marines, is one of her biggest inspirations, and she misses him dearly. Karen sings Aventura's Mi Crenzencito. Kelly wastes no time turning her chair round, and John soon turns his as well. Please pick me, Kelly begs. Kelly gets her wish. Trey Rouse, 26, from Oklahoma takes the stage next. After a rough time, he's a single parent and trying to make his singing career happen. He sings in terrific rendition of Avicii's Wake Me Up. Both Adam and Blake turn around. Adam gushes that the performance blew him away. Trey ends up going with Adam since he turned around first. Later, Blake and Adam wrestle on stage, and Blake gives Adam a kiss. Oh, the brotherly love between these two. Kim Cherry spices things up with her performance of TLC's No Scrubs. When she busts out the trap, the coaches are impressed. Kelly turns first and then Blake. She chooses Blake in the end. AJ Ryan sings One Republic's Love Runs Out, and it's a little lackluster. None of the coaches turns around. John gives him a good critique, and the coaches send him on his way. Lisa Ramey returns from season 15 for a second chance. Despite a decent performance of Kings of Leon's Sex on Fire, she doesn't get picked by a coach. Rizzy Myers, 29 from Nashville performs an epic rendition of Ariana Grande's Breathing. She makes the song totally her own. Kelly turns her chair and blocks John. Blake turns his chair as well. Rizzy and Kelly have a past connection. They once met at a concert, and Rizzy has the photo to prove it. She chooses Kelly as her coach, and Kelly gives her a Team Kelly jacket. Jimmy Mori, 31, hits the stage to perform Charlie Puth's Attention. Adam turns first and then John. Jimmy has a harrowing past. His parents broke up and got back together. However, his mom's ex-boyfriend ended up shooting and killing his father. Jimmy didn't like to talk about what happened at first and admitted that the tragedy gave me a tough outer shell. Kelly notices some pitch issues, but she knows he's got the goods. Adam also acknowledges it wasn't the best performance, but Jimmy has the potential to be a great singer. Jimmy ends up going to with Adam as his coach. Next up is Lily Joy, a 15-year-old singer from California. This girl is the definition of unique and loves wigs. She performs a quirky rendition of Gwen Stefani's song Cool. Blake can't help but turn around. During the performance, Kelly keeps telling Blake, this is Gwen's song. But Blake knows that. Blake is the only coach to turn around. Even though he loves that Lily performed Gwen's song, he turned his chair because of her great voice. I can't wait for Gwen to hear that. She's going to flip out, Blake admits. Kelly later jokes that she thought Gwen and Blake's relationship was a lie. I couldn't believe it either. Blake jokes. 
Nathan and Chessi are the first duo to perform on The Voice season 16. The country duo sing Whale and Jennings is way more's blues. None of the coaches turn around, unfortunately. However, they're invited to the comeback stage. Matthew Johnson, 25, is the final performance of the night. He starts out singing Kirk Franklin's I Smile, and Bleak wastes no time turning his chair round. Soon, all the other coaches do the same. Matthew's voice is stellar. John gushes over Matthew's performance and says his energy just lit up the room. Even though Blake turned his chair first, Matthew goes with John as his coach.